So today I'm going through some more of my collection and may declutter a few of these. Not really sure because I did actually hand pick these out of the same cabinet that I've been working out of for the past few videos. I still haven't gone in my bedroom yet with those. So it's looking like the perfume number may be over 500 at this point. This first one is a 3.3, 3.4 Britney Spears Maui Fantasy. I would sell this, but it's a heavy bottle, and I will sell it, but it's heavy, so just know that. I think you can buy it really cheap, but this would be a good one if you wanted to do the If It Fits, It Ships big box that'll hold many fragrances and ship pretty much anywhere in the U.S. for $20, I think. Is what it, okay, so this is the EDT, and I did list the Poshmark. I'll list it down below. Right this minute, I only have two perfumes listed on there. I was reading about Poshmark and reading that, that they, it's not really for perfumes, but people are selling perfumes on there. I'm not selling this. This is the Hannah Mori, and I've never heard this. I guess it's just number one. I don't know how you say that. Never heard, I've never even heard anybody talk about it in a video. To me, this one has the most blackberry musk in it. I believe it reminds me of Trish McAvoy, number nine. Let me spray it. Yes, it's, it's exactly like that. Well, almost exactly. I have that one too. So I'm not getting rid of that one. Uh, yeah, so I'll have to see how Poshmark goes. But I'm also, if anybody comments on any of those or anything, I'm also trying to direct them over here so they can see everything. This Sebastian from Smelling Great Fragrances had me so curious about I had to buy it and it's unisex it's called chocolate man I think it's unisex it probably is it's the most masculine chocolate I have in my collection but that doesn't mean a bad thing perfumes can be feminine masculine doesn't matter who wears them if you're a guy you can totally do feminine feminine you know women like masculine I myself you'll see I have about 10 men's fragrances that are targeted for men I'm not I mean it's chocolate man I'm assuming this is um oh, spray it. yeah this is real chocolatey real dry dark chocolatey and a little boozy so I'm keeping that one up okay I'm gonna put this in the maybe but it is heavy it is Dom or Dame perfumery not heard I think I've actually heard it pronounced two different ways. Scottsdale Cologne, 3.3, so it's 100 ml. Scottsdale, Arizona. I have sprayed this perfume. I need to wipe it down. I've got, right now, I've got cocoa butter on my hands, so everything's going to have fingerprints on it. Um, I would sell this. I would have to, it's basically full. I've probably used it four times. You can see the fill line. Uh... I would have to look up to see how much it costs and, of course, discount it. And if you don't do a package with the, if it fits, it ships, which are like $9 and $20 for the bigger one, I, this is a heavy bottle. So I'm going to put this back there. I like it, though, but I have, you're going to see, because once I get these gone out of the way, then, I'm, then I can really go through my perfumes and show you guys and categorize on this. This needs to be cleaned. This is not even fingerprints. This is, if I'm not mistaken, Vivian Westwood Boudoir. No, that's not what this is. This is Fifi. I have Vivian Westwood Boudoir. Okay, this is Cacherelle Fifi. I get those two mixed up. I love this perfume. Oh my God, there's no way I'm selling it. I don't even know if you can get this anymore. And there's a possibility there's another bottle, but there might not be. I, I can't remember right now. So, keeping that. I think I have two of these, but I'm keeping both of them. And I, my lids, I know exactly where the lid to this is. I just don't have it in here. This is Givenchy Lid Secret Ange a Demon. It's, I guess it's the Angel Demon scent. And this was my favorite. There's one in a pink bottle, and if I'm not mistaken, there's one in a very dark, like almost not see-through bottle. Um, I'm not getting rid of this one, but I was going to tell you what. 
what this is, but this is definitely my favorite. I know I have another one somewhere. Because it had a particular... Okay, it's the EDP. This is the Intense Elixir. And this is hard to find. And I believe I have one other bottle. So, out of all of them that they came out with, all of the flankers, this one was my favorite. I for sure will sell this if anybody's interested. And I probably, I, the cap's not on it. I might be able to find the cap. Um, I, I haven't, I've got to get everything out of a lot of places before I look for some of these caps that were taken off when I moved. So I wouldn't lose them. And I've got them in one place and I have to match them up. So as it stands right now, there's not a cap. I may have one. And this is Molecule 04. No, this is not the one I'll sell. I'm selling, sorry about that. I'm selling the, I will part with the 01. This is the sandalwood, the Javanol. This is, must be a one ounce. And if I'm not mistaken, I, the Molecule 01 I have is a, it's the big one. When we come across that one, I'll be selling that one. I thought this was the 01. It's not. That's the one. That's the best one. Now, I haven't smelled them all either, so I shouldn't really say that. This is a, an Armoff EDP and I believe this is just called, okay, here it is right here, Club de Nuit Woman. This is the one that smells a lot. It To me, I would describe it, I'm going to spray it. I would just, oh God, this is beautiful. If you have not jumped on this wagon, don't, let me see if I've got the other one right here. Yeah, here's the other one. You are missing out. This smells to me like a cross between Coco Mademoiselle Intense and Ch Coco Ch Chance, Ch Chanel Chance. That's exactly what this smells like to me. And I have a bunch of Coco, of uh, Chanel's. String attached. Okay. Okay, so this is the, my little thing came off. Probably lost it during the movie, but it doesn't matter. I'm not, I'm not getting rid of these. This is the Club de Nuit Intense and... I get confused with this one because there's one that says man and then there's one that says nothing if I'm not mistaken. And I actually ask because it doesn't say on the bottom. It just says Armoff down there on the bottom. It may have had something on the little thing. It may have just said Armoff. But this is the one that smells like Tom Ford and Noir, Noir de Noir. And I would say it is a 90% dupe and it's very, very good. When this first came out, I've got another one too. Um, I bought a backup bottle. When this first kept, when these first came out, they were like thirty-five dollars. They've gone up, and these are heavy. These right here, if you were to ship one of these, if I was to ship one of these to California, it would cost me from Myrtle Beach. It would cost me twelve dollars. I know it would. They're that heavy. So, but I'm not selling them anyway. So we have a cavatine, and you'll see several cavatines. My favorite cavatine is rose. It has changed over the years. It's not as good as it used to be, but this is florally. I really got this for the bottle, and I have a backup that is in the box, brand new, never sprayed, that I would sell if anyone's interested. Like, uh, but I've got I've got to come across it first. I believe I know exactly where it's at, but. I couldn't swear to it that I know where it's at right now, but when I come across my backup bottle, I'll get rid of that one. But um, again, if you don't combine these, this one's probably gonna, if you, and you're interested in this one, it's probably gonna be cost less for you to just buy it on online from somebody that buys in mass marketing and sells mass shipping. But I just thought that bottle was so cute. So just keep in mind, not this one, but the new inbox, I'll get rid of that one. Um, this I love. This is the Lemon and Orange Blossom, number 1807, that Bath and Body Works sold. And they may still sell it, I'm not sure. And also, somewhere, have the Lemon one. I, I love both of them. So, this, I'm not getting rid of this. But, I brought, when I pulled this out of the cabinet, I brought something in here I wanted to show you guys. If any of you like, um, let me spray this one because I want to see how much orange blossom. Yeah, this, one, this one's got a lot of orange blossom in it, but you can smell the lemon. If any of you guys like the lemon one that they had, 
you will absolutely love what I'm getting ready to show you. And I went and found this to show you guys because it is amazing. It is the most amazing lemon scent I have in my collection. And I have a lot of lemon scents. This is 100 times better than Lemon Island. And this is Lemon Cream from Ganache Perfumes. And let's see. Oh, they don't put anything on here. You would have to go to their website. Um, I also have Ice Cream Shop. And they sent me Sunday, I think it's, I don't know if it's called Ice Cream Sunday or just Sunday. They sent me that by mistake. And that one's good. I would, you might prefer it. It's not my, it's not my favorite chocolate scent at all. And it doesn't really last. This is amazing. And Ice Cream Shop's good if you want to smell like an Ice Cream Shop waffle cone, which sometimes I do. But this is the best lemon scent I own to date ever smelled. And they used to have one called Lemon Eclair. That is the one I was trying to find. And I'm assuming that it's been permanently discontinued. I don't know that for sure. They may bring it back. But I did read somewhere that a lot of times what Ganache does is brings back pretty much the same perfume and calls it something different. And they also tend to go through bottles. My ice cream shop um, is in a different bottle and it leaked when it was shipped really bad. So I think that's why he's changed bottles again. But that, that no, by no means is that sponsored. I'm just letting you guys know that is awesome. Here's the other Benefit Cosmetics Maybe Baby Perfume I was telling you about. I showed you guys the tall skinny bottle. I have the silk oil and this was the original bottle that I had. And I just love this. I know that you guys are gonna think I'm ridiculous because I have so much. I am an avid perfume user, and I know you're seeing things that look like they've never been used, but when you consider that at times I've probably had over 100 perfumes in my collection, and a lot of body sprays, and a lot of body lotions, that it's just what happens. Um, and I am a collector, so, but there's just some things to me like, I'll give you an example. I'm, I'm trying to see what this is. This is um, Hidden Fantasy. Britney Spears. I will sell that if anybody wants it. It's not real heavy, but it's pretty heavy. That would cost at least $6 to ship anywhere, I'm sure. Um, but I am a collector. The thing about me is I never really wear one perfume. I'll start out with a lotion all over my body, and then I'll put a, a perfume on that I want to smell, whatever is on my brain that day and then a couple hours later I'm going to put something else on and then but it always I always get compliments there is a it's a secret but there's a um I would sell that um there is a uh mixture combo with a lotion a high ex an expensive perfume another pretty expensive perfume, and an indie fragrance. Though, as those four scents is uh, my Saturday night staple. And people I, will come up to me and ask me what I'm wearing, and I usually tell them the one that, that stands out the most to me. I can't see this writing, you guys. This is just Ralph by Ralph Lauren, I'm pretty sure. I'm not going to sell it, but you can't you can't buy that anymore. Oh, it's Ralph Cool. My bad. I like this one. This was one of my favorite ones out of that collection they did. If they're making this, and you guys need to be aware of this too, a lot of times with these, if you see these in huge bottles on eBay going for $13, $14, it's not that, and they they have 100 of them, it's not that they are fake necessarily. I have bought fakes on eBay. I have two, and I'll, I'll show you those when I get to them. I think I still have both of them, and I wouldn't sell them to anybody, but, um, but it's just that they are bought by a different company and watered down to wear and, and put in the same bottle, so that people that, back in the day, this is, this is an original Ralph Cool, but if somebody saw this in a huge bottle on eBay for $15, they would order it immediately, but there's not much perfume in there at all. It's it's really, really going to be a body mist that you're buying. And I probably have some of those too. I'm not I'm not saying anything about that. I'm just letting you know. Uh, this is Womanity. 
This is the original. I was really interested in the flanker. And now I forgot what the flanker is called, but this is the original one. This is, okay, I'm not going to sell it um, because I'm a collector and this is one of my favorite bottles in my collection. And I do actually like the perfume. It's just not a Holy Grail perfume for me. So that's Womanity. If anyone knows the flanker that I might be talking about, let me know because I need to look it up. This is Michael Kors Jasmine. You can find these really in, um, no, this is Sky Blossom. Sorry. Where's Jasmine? I knew I had pulled Jasmine. Here it is. Um, you can find these sometimes in TJ Maxx, Marshalls. A lot of you guys have a much better TJ Maxx and Marshalls than I have. Um, but the, the Jasmine has been in there recently. But some of you guys are finding Bond Nines and Creeds in there. I've never seen anything like that in our TJ Maxx or Marshalls here. And I don't really like Ross. I need to visit our Ross here because... I have not been in that store. It may be better than the one I'm used to. So this is Glam Jasmine, and this is Sky Blossom. I think I either showed you guys a taller bottle of this or another short one, or I've already given it away because I know for a fact I had a taller one, and I believe I had another small one. I may have already shown it. It may be coming up, but I will keep one out of those three bottles. And so this one's full. So I would probably sell the Jasmine as long as I haven't already given away both of the others. So I'm going to put that back there as a maybe. If you're interested, you know, you can feel free to ask me about it. I'm not getting rid of the Sky Blossom. It's the only one I have, and I, and I like it. It's just a, this is just a pretty, it's not a Holy Grail by any means. It's just a pretty scent. This is Youth Do Estee Lauder. This is an original formulation, and you cannot get these anymore. I have a used do in the old school blue bottle that they've recently just put out again, just for collector's editions, and and it's not an old school blue bottle. It's it's a new school blue bottle, but I like it, and and I actually like used do. It's just like aromatic elixir from Clinique that I have to spray it, like. Knees are lower so that I'm getting just like one spray or half a spray so that I'm getting just a little bit of it. And then it smells great. If you were to take this juice <laughs> or this perfume and spray it all over your body, you would throw this bottle away because, after, because you would smell it for days and days and days. It would be in your house and you would get sick of it. Perfumes like this, you have to go... I go really lightly with a lot of mine anyway. I'm not a heavy sprayer because of the fact that I get sick of smelling them after five or six hours. But that's w another reason my perfumes last so long. And, you know, I, but now there's some perfumes like this one right here. This would be one that you could spray five or six sprays and it's not going to be overpowering. But this one um, is an original formulation. You can probably tell by the dark juice. If you try to buy these now, they just don't, they've reformulated all of the Estee Lauder ones. Cinnabar, I remember I sold my original about a half a bottle of original Cinnabar that smelled perfect on eBay. And the woman was so excited because they just don't smell right anymore. This is my favorite Jennifer Lopez scent. And it's called Still. I'm not getting rid of it. You will see this again. Because when I see this somewhere, like in TJ Maxx or something, and it's like $12, $15, I'm going to get it. This is a tea fragrance, and I don't like all tea fragrances, but this one was done right. This is a light scent. You can, I could myself easily three or four sprays and it lasts a long, long time for a celebrity scent. But you got to keep in mind, I don't just spray I, I, my wrist or my neck. I spray my hair, my shirt, um, my skin, whatever. This is a Ray 21 scent, Tropidelic. I don't even know how to describe this. You guys would have to look up the notes. And when you're looking up notes, you might want to skip over Fragranica. Fragranica is good to read what people write because people smell different things. You're going to smell something different from me. And it's nice to get everyone's opinion. And they're all different. And it's not because the people are lying to you. It's because that's how they feel. But Fragranica at the top doesn't always get the accords right. It's not, a lot of times it's not what is on the website for the perfume. So if you're in doubt about that, always try to get the exact accords that are in there. But I want to say this is like a really tangy mango. I'm going to spray it way over here. I don't know how to describe this, you guys. It 
it's good and I just like it and it lasts a long time too and you get those for like sometimes we'll even have them for like ten dollars a bottle this is one of my favorite perfumes and it's the writing's even rubbed off of it from Avon and this is Sweet Honesty I have owned Sweet Honesty a bottle of Sweet Honesty this is another one that I've gone through bottles of um since I was probably 12, 13, if not younger than that, because my mom was in Avon too, you know, back in the day. But this is such a pretty perfume. This is, and I have not worn this in so long, but you'll see other bottles of that because a lot of times Avon will have buy one, get one free or something like that. I'm, I don't do, I haven't bought anything from Avon in a long, long time. Um, but sometimes Avon gets it right. And some of their older perfumes, if you have them in your collection, every Avon perfume that I've got that's older has not turned. So, let's see. This is, i got to get this one right because I've got two different, I've got Halston, I've got Halston Woman, and I've got Halston Woman Amber. This is the Amber. And this is just good. Uh, let me see. This is a... It's amber, of course, but it's got a little bit of a, I don't know, almost like a little bit of a nutty, caramely, I don't know how to describe that. If you're someone that likes Le Artisan Perfumes Noir Exquise, or Exquise, ever how you say that, I've never heard anybody say it, um, or Bond Number no. 9, Maybe a little bit of Harlem, but Harlem's a little bit, it's got a little bit of a masculine, more perfume type scent. This is a little smoother. Or Bond 9, I love New York for All. I have that one. Um, oh gosh, I really like that. And this is cheap. You guys, I bought this about two months ago for like 10 or $11 on eBay. And it's good. Now the other one, the regular House of Woman I have, I bought the small bottle and then, you know, for like, I don't even know, eight or nine bucks. Then I turned around and bought a big bottle. So that one I do have two bottles of. And I have a couple of original Halston's. Halston now, if you buy, Halston has been reformulated. Here's the Capitine Rose. This is, I know this for a fact. Uh, you'll see some of the older bottles. They're more round like this one. This one's round, but it's, I don't know how to describe it. But anyway, this used to come in a, rounder bottle they've reformulated it when they changed the bottle they reformulated it. it's a little weaker now it still smells the same but it is weaker but i do have some of the original bottles and when we get to those i need to check them because to make sure they haven't turned this is i show this in another video when i got it but this is a uh, rihanna rebel and this is really nice it's a beast this the perf performance on this one is crazy train i mean it is i'm not doing very good with decluttering Hmm. Ugh. Really not. Uh, I need to leave this one out. This is a little bit bigger bottle of Jennifer Lopez still. I'm going to keep that. Actually, I may keep that. Throw this in my purse or something so I can just use this one on up. So I'm going to kind of sit it over there so I don't forget about that. This is a bottle of prescriptives. I wish they still sold in department stores. They don't sell in ours anymore. This is the Shimmering Calyx. Shimmering Mist. Smells so good. And I have a regular one, too. So somewhere we're going to come. I had the regular one, and then they came out with the Shimmering. So you know I was all over that. It smells so good. I don't know how to describe that one to you here. Um, oh, this is a gem. I would not I would not sell this for $6,000. That's how much some of these things mean to me. This is an original bottle of Lancome OE. This was a mistake because... You can still buy this, just in case you're wondering, but it doesn't smell nowhere near like the original one. This is an original. I remember the day I walked into my insurance office and the secretary was wearing this, and I said, what are you wearing? My God, you smell so good. And she said, it's Lancome OE. It just came out. That's when I went and bought this bottle that day. That day. And I have another one. I've bought it since it's been reformulated. It still smells good. It still kind of smells the same, but it's not as good. So, um, and it looks to me like this one's fine. I haven't sprayed it in a while, but the last time I sprayed it, it was fine. 
This, I, you're going to see a lot of this too. This is Banana Republic Malachite. I heard somebody on YouTube talk about this. And I looked up the notes and I read about it. And I ordered it. And my God, this is beautiful. I, white flowers. I don't know. I don't know. Let me see if I can spray it and tell you something that it might, might come up. No, I can't. Okay, Mark Jacobs, a little bit, but see, actually, the, the original Mark Jacobs, that tuberose, smooth, I actually like this better than Mark Jacobs, and I believe the original Mark Jacobs has been discontinued. There may be a reformulation out for sale. I would buy this. That is Banana Republic Malachite, and that might be discontinued, too. I like this so much. I believe I have two boxes, two bottles in the boxes backups and it wasn't expensive so if you can find it now and it has been discontinued it might be expensive this is just another bottle of jessica mcclintock when i get my stuff together and i and i can get every like i'm going to try to put like all my cavatines together all my britney spears perfumes together um all my michael kors i will be decluttering again at that point because i'll be able to see at one time what i actually have so, I think I would probably keep this bottle because it's older. Um, I think I have a newer one that's full. So, but, but then again, I, th I don't really think that's a real expensive perfume. But just in case, to give you a, an idea, if you're interested in combining, watch my other videos. I've already decluttered at least 100 perfumes. Did I say decluttered? I think I did. Okay, I bought this at like somewhere like Walgreens or CVS, and it's just called Essence of Beauty Island Dream. This is so good. They, they actually have this in a body spray too, and we'll probably come across it, but this is the only perfume I've got. It almost smells like, I don't want to say creamsicle because so many people put creamsicle on a perfume. They put that, they said that Amo Ferragamo smelled like that. I bought that and it just, I couldn't stand it. It's so generic. I just don't like it. I sold it, got rid of it, couldn't take it. This really, it, and it's not, I don't want to spray another perfume, you guys. I don't know how to describe it. But if you ever get a chance, and it's in drugstores, basically, um, if they still sell it. I bought this a couple years ago when I was in Wilmington. But if you ever get a chance to smell it, I was able to smell it before I bought it. And I also bought the body spray. But it just smells good. It's I don't really know how. There's a Gap perfume that I have or a body mist that it smells a lot like really tropical, but not tart, strong tropical, like the creamy, smooth, really, really good tropical. Um, I think that's it. Oh, I talked to a couple of you actually about Earthen Treasures, and you guys know I used to talk about Barbara all the time. Barbara, I just love her to death. She works her fingers to the bone. If you are ever interested, and and also I needed to mention this too. Someone in particularly asked about Choco Lovers. It there is a Choco Lovers. There's a cho there's a CSP Coco Amour or Amour Amour Coco, whatever. Um, Choco Lovers and the Hot Chocolate Marshmallow is one of my favorite. They're all very similar that she does, but she does dupes and. She doesn't have a DNA base like like I like Dua scents. I have I've, I've kept and love about ten or twelve of them, um, but they have a base they put in a lot of their gold runs. She doesn't do that. She actually has a mixture of recipes she uses and goes by, and she doesn't put like the same thing in every perfume to where they almost kind of smell alike. She does a fantastic job. My favorite are the Body oil mist, and I love to put those on my legs during the summer, and they smell good, too. I mean, they smell like they're not gone in 10 minutes at all, and I like the, I may be saying this wrong, you'll have to look on the website, to see, look under products to see all the products, look under fragrances to see the many categories of fragrances she has, um, but it's whipped shea butter, whipped shea mango butter, something like that. I love those, and they're so good, but she does a lot of different things, and 
you can also email her and she'll get back to you if there's something you're kind of looking for. Or, I don't know. She's just very, very friendly, very outgoing with the people that are interested in her things. And a lot of perfumers aren't like that. I'll put, I will link her below. This is what you need to do. You need to go to the page that says fragrances. You need to get a pen and paper and write down everything you're interested in. Then go to the other page that says products or whatever, like, you know, where it's going to list the oils and the sprays. So what you actually do is go under the product type, like a body, a spray body oil, and then you type in the name of the scent you want. Like I would go under body oil mist. I would select two ounce, four ounce, whatever, and I would write, type out hot chocolate marshmallow. That's the way you have to do it because she has so many to choose from. She, it's just the way that she does it. And then depending on your order and what it costs to ship it to you and where you're at, she's going to send you another invoice when she figures out how much the shipping is for your order. She doesn't charge, and unless it's changed, she doesn't charge a flat rate. She will see what it's actually going to send and then send you an invoice for that. So if you get like six things, it's not $5.95 to ship it. It's not $19.95 to ship it. She's going to see what it actually costs to ship it. And then she's going to send you a bill for that. So you're going to order your products first, what you want. And then she's going to, and she does fair shipping. It's not, it's not crazy or anything. So I'll link that below. And also, um, a YouTuber, Brian, got in touch with me. We chatted a little bit, you know, just to keep it, um, you know, like that. And I watched a couple of his, his videos. He is so friendly and so down to earth. So I'm going to link him down below too. I think it's Loves Mariah 1000 and his name's Brian, but I'll link him down below. You guys check him out. Thumbs up, like this video if you want to see more. Keep an eye on what I'm doing because some of these, and there's some that I showed you that I'm, that are, they might be discontinued and you know, I might sell them. I, I don't, I might would sell them for the right, for the right offer. I don't know, but I'm just letting, I'm going through my collection. I'm kind of letting you guys know where I stand on a lot of these and I know I have to downsize. So that's it. So I'll link everything below. I wanted to let you guys know why there wasn't much on Poshmark. I don't want to spend three nights listing on Poshmark and then they take it all down. So I'm just trying, I've got two up, you know, and if it, and, and I could put more up, but I want to see what happens first. So I may end up having to go Macari. Not sure. If anybody likes Macari or sells on Macari or, you know, I don't, how do you feel about that? Let me know in the comments below. You guys have a great day and thanks for watching.